nice and elegant addition to any garden, and there is a lot to choose from. So the Brolaws are back now with some options, some great options. So we're going to see some pictures yes. um, from your clients yes. uh, and different options that are out there when pergolas um, are, or when you're considering a pergola. So take a look at some of these pictures right now and. This is just stunning. <laughs> yes, so this is something we did back in the day with Paul LaFrance, who's an absolute oh, yes. mind-blowing designer. Yes. The guy yes. comes up with crazy ideas, and this oh. one he woke up and was like, you know what we need to do? You know wind turbine? I want yeah. that to be a pergola, but upside down. Yeah. Can you guys do that? Build so it out of cedar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Beautiful. with the team, we figured out how we were going to make that be possible, first of all, and yes. then put it together. So it was definitely a stunning piece to put together. Okay, mm -hmm. we have another one here. Uh, and this one might be a little bit more traditional, but yes. uh, still really gorgeous. Yeah, so we're just kind of trying to show the different options you have. Because when you're yeah. custom making a pergola, the sky's the limit. You can do anything you want because it's it can be completely customizable to your space. Right. Um, and as you saw with the other one, it could be anything you dream of as well. So even yeah. circular. Yes. <laughs> and finally, here's another one uh, which is also really gorgeous, simple. It demarcates the space, uh, mm -hmm. which is lovely for the yeah. And space. something Paul taught us with design is just creating that visual element. Even yeah. if it's not going to be a full pergola, just having beams going around create that different dimension and that little elevation to the deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that I guess that's the answer to the question of what's the point in having a pergola <laughs> exactly. if the if the roof is open, but the whole thing is about creating that architectural detail. Exactly. It gives you another okay. dimension to the backyard. Because the sky is literally the limit, you're just yes. creating another visual break. And then when you're in a subdivision as well, you know, there's windows everywhere looking yeah. down at you, so having that visual break just gives a distraction for the eye. Well, we're, we're standing in a distraction right now, yeah. are yes, we not? We are. <laughs> so this is a lovely pergola. What's the material? What's this made of? So this is shade tree and this is a completely customizable pergola system. Yes. Uh, so these specifically are an aluminum that's coated in a PVC. Very so it's cool. all uh, maintenance free product yeah. that you're not gonna have to deal with. You're not gonna have to deal with wood that's gonna eventually gray and you're gonna have to sand down every couple of years. So completely yeah. maintenance free, which is yeah. huge. And they've got a bunch of different profiles here. So the posts can come in different colors. You can get a bigger ah. platform with kind of that shaker look, which is in right now. Nice. And the top canopies come in just about <laughs> every all the colors. option wow. you can imagine. <laughs> We're actually going to show you a little bit of that top uh, canopy in a second, but first, you might want to see what went into building uh, this whole pergola. So a pergola of this size generally takes about four to five hours to install. Mm -hmm but through the magic of television. It happened <laughs> quite quickly here. Our cameras were rolling as the guys built it in our studio. So were you here for four hours, four or five hours? <laughs> <laughs> the guys were when they put it together. Wow. That wasn't us, but okay. yeah, this is a system that's cool because if you have a bit of that skill, you can do this yourself. Yes. Um, and it's a component system that is customizable to your space. So you just order exactly what you want. They send you all the pieces and you can throw it together that's in a day cool. or on the weekend. And speaking okay, of pieces, so there's a lot of fun components to this. Talk about that. <laughs> So you've got this little drop down shade wind Ooh. screen. <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. Give you that little bit of privacy. Yes. This also blocks out 78% of UV rays as well. Excellent. But it's gonna allow the wind to blow through it. So you can still enjoy that breeze yes. um, without getting the heat of the sun coming in and hitting you. What do yeah. I do about the sun? <laughs> Is there any solution? We have a solution for you. <laughs> so these are rolling out canopies that just go along the track. Awesome. Love it. And so, like, it's just, you should be the person that does the sales, right? you know, presentations. <laughs> it just looks so seamless. That Go easy. ahead and pull the other one out. Yeah. What a lovely way to do it. That's great. Perfect. So now you're completely covered from the sun um, yes. when it's, you know, the hottest time of day. Yep. We want to talk about some other options we have here as well, as well as pictures yes. of other pergolas where you are covered um, uh, above. So we've got a few pictures right now that you can take a look at. The first one here, gorgeous color. Yeah, exactly. And it's just playing off of those colors too, right? So your patio furniture, the cushions you have Love on that. that, you can match with the drapes and just make it all kind of work together. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely. It looks very Southern France. It's gorgeous. <laughs> this one as well really nice nice yes. light fabric so it stays the very light and airy exactly and the, the canopy is made out of a, a marine grade ca uh, material so it's oh, not going to let any water come through it and it's not going to get stained so if there's birds flying overhead that yes. decides to deposit <laughs> something for you it's just going to get baked by the sun and blown off with the rain and the wind oh that is so and it's smart. not going to stain the fabric otherwise how do you clean that right exactly, exactly. Mm, <laughs> we don't want to go there no. and finally this one I, I love as well is that a dark blue on that's top? a dark blue yeah and then you can get the different profiles on the end so that way you can really see 
see um, what you can do and how you can customize these pieces to right. really anything you want in your backyard. Okay, so speaking of customizing, you've brought a few uh, sort of in-studio yeah. different yeah. ways to connect them. So this is another system called Toya Grid, and it's a great modular DIY system. Mm -hmm. So you can buy all of these different components. This one, for example, just mounts to the base of your deck, put it in with the bolts that they provide you, and you can put a post in to create a nice structure in your backyard as well. Cool. Um, so this is a great DIY thing. You just buy these simple brackets, you buy some posts, whether it's a 4x4 four four or a bigger 6x6, six six, depending on the look that you want. Yeah. And they simply fit into place and screw them together, and you've got a nice little system put together in about 45 minutes, yeah. probably. <laughs> it oh doesn't my take gosh, long that's enough. amazing. <laughs> so would this be would be a situation where either you can go DIY or you can call uh, you know contractors and, and get you guys in to sort of build something up based exactly. on these different parts? Yeah. Like Lego. Like exactly. Lego, exactly. Right? You can really conform it however you want yeah. and create a ton of different things. Mm -hmm. And then they've got different canvases as well that you can put in above or as walls as well. Okay, well, let's whip through some more pictures. Yeah, because absolutely. Because we've got some gorgeous pictures of pergolas. Uh, <laughs> this one I find is so, it's beautiful lit like I don't know if that's the sun or that's the sun and that's oh just gosh. creating that detail above so you don't have yeah. any natural or any big shade canopies in that that's just the wood going across yes. and it creates beautiful beautiful shade patterns on the ground as well so, so nice. you're not getting full shade but you're getting some and it just creates that beautiful flow above mm -hmm. you let's see the next picture that's lovely. Yes, yeah, so this just speaks to creating a zone. We talk about that a lot outside, is creating rooms outside. Right. Instead of just having this vast open space, you can actually create little uh, sitting area or a dining area, and you're creating a room outside that's gonna be inviting and you wanna go out and spend time there. That's right, you should yeah. treat it like the inside of your house, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys.